Hell has frozen over. Not only that, my candlestick keeps bending over. Anyway, believe it or not, I finally, after how many episodes? Oh, like 120 episodes? I finally got Megan on camera for a change. She's going to join us, so we're going to go over the Corbin. Stay tuned. Why Mother Bay TV? Welcome back to another episode of Wine Mother Bay TV. I'm your host, George Bacharo. We've got my wife today. Megan is going to join us. We're going to do a little unboxing. Um, I know the holidays are not quite here yet, but at some point, there's someone with a birthday, an anniversary, something, and they're a wine person, and this is a perfect gift, or maybe just you like yourself a lot and you want to use this uh, Corbin. So, uh, Megan, first of all, yes. this is going to be your first foray with the Corbin. Are you excited? Yes, I am very excited. Okay, awesome. So the Corbin system, for those of you who don't know, is a system where they inject argon gas into the wine bottle. We have Exhibit A, a wine bottle. And what it does is it protects the wine from aging, so you can drink it glass by glass over a period of time. I believe they say something like four to six weeks. I think that's a little bit too aggressive. I think if you're going two, three weeks with something like that, I think that's a very safe thing. I've used this in the restaurant before. We use it at, uh, at my new job at Anarchist. Mm. And, you know, it's, it's very good in those couple, three weeks. I, like I said, you can do what you want and experiment, but I personally think more than a month is too much. Okay, so we're going to get into this right away. Did you have any questions about this first? No, I'm excited to see what's been inside. We've had this box for a while. Okay, well, there's no reason to, you know, let everybody know that I'm lazy. Okay. <laughs> All right, one thing I did not do is bring something to open this. So we're going to take a quick second, and I'm going to get it. I'm back with the scissors. Okay, good. I lied about the knife. But I don't think I'm allowed to play with knives, am I? No, definitely not. So, Megan, tell uh, everybody while I do this... Your journey is to wine, like, you know, I know you're not, like, super huge into wine, but you, you have an appreciation for it. Tell me a little bit about uh, what you think. I love wine. I just don't think that I'm as snobby as you. Very few people are as snobby as you. As I've been told many, many times by my coworkers, <laughs> by my friends, now by my wife, by my mother-in-law. Yep. Okay. Ooh. This All is right. pretty exciting. So let me move the bottle out of the way. We'll get into that in a second. So you're looking at the Corvin system. I assume that is the main system yes. because it kind of looks pretty big. It kind of looks like a shoebox. It Small does look like a shoebox. Pair of shoes. Ooh. Okay, so why don't you open that this way? Okay. Everybody can get a nice And you look. can kind of see they give you some coupons, of course, because they want you to keep buying stuff from them. Yeah, and you're going to need to buy stuff because the, these are the gas canisters. And depending on how much you spend initially, you get one or six or whatever. There's, there, there's varying prices, by the way. And I'm going to leave a link in the description box uh, to buy one of these Corbins. Again, there are many different levels. I'm just going to pick one in the middle. But they all kind of work the same. It's just a matter of the accessories that come with it. Okay? Right. All right. So that's the box. Yep. This is the Argon Gas. Yep. There's what do you got over there? Some coupons, 50% off. Okay. That says Join Club Corbin. And we have some nice um, quick start guide. That's okay. Helpful. That helps. Okay. And then, you know, one of these warning Let's things. see, how many, how many languages is it? One. Ooh, and then this kind of comes in. Oh, it's in one. Pink. Okay, good. Uh-oh. <laughs> Usually that's me breaking stuff, <laughs> just so you know. So that's good. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> I thought everything was in here. You're making me look good, It babe. tricked me. Okay. Okay, so. So, first of all, let me say, I did kind of splurge, and I think this one was $170, something like that. Yes, it was a gift for me. Yeah, well, she didn't know it, but it was a gift. <laughs> okay, right. here's those canisters, I think. So these must come automatically. The two Is it two canisters? Two canisters. So two canisters come automatically, I would think. Yep. These are aerators. Yep. Okay, to help the wine kind of open up. I think that must be This a... is like a travel pack for the canisters, I no. would think. Then we have, I think, a little thing of cleaner, maybe. It looks like a little... Oh, okay. The needle. It might okay. be the needle in there or it might there might be one on. Okay. So this container is definitely an upgrade. Like they don't all come with a bag. Oh, okay. So that's Good not always gonna happen. 
The bag is very nice. I thought everything actually was in the bag. That's why I really That's why you threw everything stuff off. around yeah. all over the place. Good job. Oh, and this is the device. Okay, here we are. Wrapped okay. in plastic. Wrapped in plastic. Nice, nice. One of those little things. Oh, well, yeah. I feel like everything comes like that. Yeah. Okay, so there's a little thing that shows you how to release the clamps. Okay, that's actually that's the aerator that I've spoken about before uh, with Clarence and with uh, and with Alex. I'll leave a link in, uh, up here to the Alex episode where we actually did the core of it a little bit. Okay. Yep. And this is like twenty dollars on Amazon independently. So if you don't want to buy the more expensive unit, I definitely suggest that you do this because this thing really makes a difference. This yeah. opens the wine up like it's been open for over an hour, like an hour and a half. They say. So the we'll narrator right is there. worth it for sure. Okay. And that's it. That's all that's in the box. That's all that's in this bag. So believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, I've never actually opened one of these. I've always had these oh, ready, ready to go, to go. when yeah. I come to work. So yeah, I've never actually pretty. opened one. It has a little gold. Yeah, I, like I said, I spent a little extra money because it was going to sit in our house. Oh, why don't you show you them this? That's the oh, little okay. pedestal that this rests on. Oh, it has like a little stand? Mm -hmm. That's cute. Ooh, yeah. Kind of like a pewter looking footy so that it can stand up and then it says the Corvin on it. It's nice. Yeah, put it close to the camera can see it. There you go. Okay. By the way, I'll take pictures of all of this so we'll cut this oh, in, yeah. but I'm gonna try and show you. Good see idea. this little area right here? That's a little handle that moves this up and down, okay? So you just kind of pull it up and it moves up oh, mm -hmm. and then it moves down, okay? Very cool. All right. What do these things do? Uh, that's a damn good question. I really don't know. I mean, it almost looks like this probably covers the area on the top of the wine. Yeah, I'm not really okay. sure. Okay. All right, we'll have to read so that. these things right here, I have never used before. I don't know what they are. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sure there's something that the home user will use regularly, but you know, if you're working mm -hmm. on this deal. Okay. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to see how this is like this. You're going to touch this piece right here and allow it to move up. So I'm gonna pull it and slide it up. Okay, so now it's at the top. So now I wanna remove the cartridge holder, okay, which is empty, mm -hmm. okay, and it leaves you this here. You're gonna put the tank, the gas tank in here. And by the way, there are instructions on here. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And there is the, on the quick side what he said. Yeah, saying, do so. not use the handle while pouring. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, in other words, don't grasp this. Uh, read the instructions, guys. <laughs> Always read the instructions. I know for men especially, mm -hmm. typically we hate reading instructions, but first time you're dealing with compressed gas, so you don't want to like blow out the <laughs> gas can. And these are, these are expensive. Yeah. Like you don't want to be throwing these away because you're just not careful, all sure. right? So then you're going to just kind of place it like that mm -hmm. and then twist it until it closes and it's going to pierce the can. Okay. Boom. Done. And there it is. Okay. Now, if you ever want to test it, see the little handle right there? And oh, you hear, the, you hear, you hear it. The yeah. Air? Okay, yeah, yeah. perfect. Okay. It's like a helium tank. So now it's ready to go. Okay. Okay. So this thing, now there's a clasp right here that you open and close it with. And we'll go into more of that when we see it. But let's put this right here. Okay. Oh, is there no needle in here? Yeah. No, there is a needle. Isn't there a needle? Oh, is this a replacement? That's an extra needle. Yeah, that's oh, extra. okay. Those needles are super expensive, guys. So oh. this, this replacement needle that's cool. is not going to come with every single uh, one of these. We if got you get the one cheaper with ones, the replacements, yeah. If okay. you get a cheaper one, like $100, I think this one's like $105 or something like that, you're probably not going to get a needle in there. And again, right. I would encourage you to follow the links in the description box below. Uh, it'll take you to Amazon. You'll see all the different options. Purchase it right there. Get some wine glasses. Get a wine bag if you want. Whatever the heck you need right. to enjoy your wine experience. But definitely follow the links below. Okay? And there's this little tool also in the quick guide, which is the needle clearer. So oh. I guess to uh, clean it out every once in a while, you've got to get all the sediment out. You see, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Yeah. All I know is use it. Because he doesn't read down. directions. This well, is yeah. Well, because it was me. already set up. Okay, so when you're gonna do the stand, okay, when you're gonna use this Corbin stand, you wanna extend this so that it sits nice, nice on here. Ooh, that does look nice. Okay, mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it. Let me move it to the side. Yeah. Okay, see that? That looks very pretty, very pretty, pretty. Okay, now as for the aerator, if yes. you do happen to get an aerator, which I absolutely suggest that you do, right. all you have to do is push it 
onto the spout. Use Corvin system normally per instructions. Mm -hmm. Pull aerator off Corvin system when finished. Rinse before storing. Yeah, you absolutely want to rinse this on a consistent basis because wine will wine will get stuck in there and then it won't work properly. Got it. Got okay. It. All right. So. And this, these I guess are just extra caps. It says caps for what? They're Corvin screw cap. It says remove and discard existing screw cap. Do not pour wine from open bottle. Right. Immediately replace the Corvin screw cap. Use Corvin. So this is with a screw cap. Per okay. Yeah, you can do it with a screw cap too, but we're going to focus mainly on the corks. Okay. Okay, because the screw cap thing, I feel like. It's right. I think so. Yeah. So let's let's do a little core of an experiment. So okay. why don't you tell them about the wine and I'm going to go get it. Oh, I need a corkscrew. So hang on and I'll be right back with a corkscrew. Okay, I'm back with a corkscrew. Apparently I am never prepared. Um, so what we're going to do is this is a Fremont Gavi Cabernet Sauvignon 2009 from Napa Valley. And again, I'll cut in a picture of this for you so you can see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this bottle, sort of. Okay, now while you can pierce the capsule, which is the metal foil piece on top of the cork with the Corvin system, uh -huh. I've been reliably told that that tends to damage the needle over time. Okay. So the best thing to do is to cut that capsule right off first and then deal with it because it will reseal. Now, when you cut the capsule, you want to cut under the second, yeah. under the second lip. There's yep. two lips, a short lip and a long lip. You want to cut underneath the long lip, but I'll show you what that looks like after we're done. So you take your knife out and you cut along, okay? And you get that capsule off. Sometimes they're more well, forgiving yeah, than others, but regardless, if you do it right, it will come off eventually. There you go. Oh, excuse you, Eagle. Nice. Okay, so this is the capsule or the foil, whatever you want to call it. Put your knife away. Don't leave it out. You're going to stick yourself. Yeah. Believe me when I tell you. Mm -hmm. And that's what the lip looks like. You know what? So you don't want to take out the cork. You just want to take off the little foil around it. So you see it. the lip that's over there? That's the first lip, second lip. So you want to be under the second lip. The cork is going to remain intact. The pin or the needle is going to go in there and pierce it. Got okay, it. So we're going to do an experiment. Okay. We're going to do this. We're gonna pour one glass without the aerator and one glass with the aerator. Okay. And we'll just we'll just cross taste them both. Perfect. We, we, we kiss all the time. I just hope so. So you know. Lucky me. <laughs> lucky me. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to see this right here. This is a clamp. Mm -hmm. So you want to just apply pressure and open the clamp to put it over the bottle. Got it. So you do this. Okay. Boom. So it's flush with the top of the cork. The needle and the cork are the same. The needle and cork are the same. See that? Yep, okay. Okay. And then all you do is you just push down. Ooh, that's pretty okay. easy, okay. So now, it, now the needle is in the cork, okay? So now you're ready to work this thing. Got it. So that's when this little piece right here, the little trigger comes in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what you do is you got to turn the bottle more than 90 degrees. So the so the liquid and the cork come in contact with each other. Okay, okay. And obviously that angle will change depending on how full the bottle is. Right, right. But my personal thing, what I suggest that you do is get in the habit of putting it at this angle mm -hmm. all the time. That way, whether the bottle is full or empty, you, you're in the you habit kind of, of keeping it. it all the way yeah. over. Otherwise, you're just going to get air in there and that's no way. Okay. That's our dog, by the way. He's trying to get on straight. Yeah, the eagle is, is a fan there. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna do the first one. Okay, so you turn it over, then you squeeze the trigger. Okay, now the first couple on a full bottle, no matter how much you squeeze the trigger, you're not gonna get much wine out. Uh -huh. Because there's no space for the air to go in. Oh, right. Okay, by the third one, you should be able to get a pretty good pour. When you're done, you just turn it up. Beautiful, babe. Okay, so that's one down. Okay. Okay, so this one is the non- Aerated. Aerated, okay. Okay. And I'm just pushing this on. Now, it's exactly the same procedure. The only difference is the aerator is on this time, okay? Oh, okay. So was that hard to push on or was it pretty easy? 
Not really. If it gives you any resistance, maybe a little twist oh. as you go on, but you don't have to. Okay. Okay, so same thing. Angle, press. Ooh, it's like a little shower. It's like a shower. It's like a shower head. <laughs> and you see now, because there's more air in the bottle, there's more space in the bottle. Oh, it's going there's longer. much more. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and again, you want to do a quick turn up to make it, to make it stop. Got it. Okay, catch whatever a little bit of wine. Got it. Okay, then all you have to do is hold the clamp again, but from the other side. You don't want to release the clamp, you want to hold it. Mm -hmm. Pull the lever up and then declamp it. And then the wine's okay. And it's done. But the cork will close in the next, you know, 30 to 45 seconds and then it's completely sealing in so there's no air that gets in. Oh. Okay, that's the whole point. We've injected the argon gas, which is an inert gas, mm -hmm. takes up the space in the bottle that the, that the oxygen would have taken, so the wine does not deteriorate. It's the wine. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. Yes. That's the non airy I want you to taste that first. Okay. Yeah, it's going to need help. Okay. It's a 2009. That's a 2009. Wow, it smells pretty good. Okay. Well, that's a good sign. <laughs> I well, wasn't sure you, if Here, this... why don't you try this? Why don't you smell this one? Okay. See if it smells any different. Okay. This one, well, you always want to aerate it a little bit. Oh, interesting. Very different, right? Yeah. It is a night and day. It difference. really is. And I don't know anything about wine and they smell very different. Okay, so now taste this one. Okay. Ooh, a little tight. Mm -hmm. It's a little acidic, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it hasn't opened yet. Right. Do me a favor. In the future, always... Mm -hmm. By the way, folks, this is not just for Megan. You want to grab the wine by the stem because especially with, with white wine, mm -hmm. but even with red, you're changing the temperature of the wine and warming it up in your hand. So it changes didn't the experience. Didn't I do that? I didn't do that? Yeah, you grabbed it from the bottom, kind of. I mean, okay. you didn't really cup it, but even still, you're better off to do it from the stem. I just get nervous because my hand is small. By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell icon. Leave a comment. Um, let us know what you think of this. If you're into this uh, Corvin system, if you've heard of the Corvin system before, and if you've used it, any tips and tricks, especially if you're a professional, if you know any tips and tricks that the folks might need, put them in the comment section below, please. Big difference. Big difference. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Way less acidic. Way more even. Folks. Definitely. I don't lie to you. Yep. I'm an, I'm an ass. I'm not a nice person. I'm... You know, belligerent. There's a lot of things I am, but I do not lie to you. I take our relationship very seriously. And if I'm telling you you should spend twenty dollars on that thing, it's it makes it. a difference. It That's the it. only reason. I mean, this little item right here. Yeah, I mean, you really can taste it. And bye when bye. you when you get it, you should do a taste test. And if not, you can just return it from Amazon. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if you're buying it from Amazon, they take everything back. They take so, everything back. So but I guarantee like, you, you're you not going to you return won't. this. You this won't. is not going to get returned. It's worth it. This yeah. is worth every penny. This wine is pretty good. Um, it is free market, Abbey, which, by the way, is really, really good. So why don't you read the label? Tell them about the alcohol by volume and all that kind of stuff. Sure. Okay, so this is a Cab Sauv. Our Cab Sauv is a classic Bordeaux style blend from several of our most esteemed vineyards in the Napa Valley. Immediately following harvest, aromas of black cherry, currant, and dried cranberry were highlighted through a five day cold soak in which the juice absorbed color and flavor from the grape skins prior to fermentation. Aging in both French and American oak barrels, added additional flavors, including cedar, clove, cinnamon, and dark chocolate. Enjoy. I smell the dark chocolate in this one. Oh, 14.5. 14.5. Okay, so reasonable. That's and as you know, normal. they can mess with the... Um, wow, I'm getting a little... And Primark actually, Abbey is like a 1886. I mean, this one's this winery has been around a long time. This was one of the originals. This is an interesting wine. I mean, it is, right? honestly, Fremont Gabby has a lot of different levels. The Boucher Vineyards is their top, right. as far as I know. But this is their entry level, quote unquote, wine. This is like their basic wine they sell everywhere. Very good bottle. I, I will link in the description, uh, in the description box below to the current release. And I'll try to link to their uh, website also. Yeah. Um, and that way you can take a look and see if they have any library stuff that you might want to pick up. 07 is a big year. 13 is a big year. 9 is a good year. 10 is a big I mean, there's a lot of good years. Mm -hmm. 11 well, is kind of suspect depending on how it goes. Right. What do you think? The aerated version? 
more berry, more cherry flavor. Mm -hmm. This was a little bit more acidic. This is a lot more smooth, as you might expect. I got an aftertaste of milk chocolate running into dark chocolate. Mm. This is more of a dark chocolate. Do you taste any cinnamon? I don't taste any cinnamon, but either. then again, I might have tasted it in here. I got, well, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, there is a little cinnamon in the unopened. On the tight one. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of dissipated on this one, although side by side, because this is so acidic and so um, abrupt, right. that this is going to get muted because this is too strong. Okay. So it's like going from like a cab to a Pinot yes. Noir. Yes. You can't, you won't taste the Pinot Noir if you drink a cab. So this is going to be a little bit more muted, but I'm telling you, it's totally worth it. Well, and I, I think that... Yeah, you can definitely taste, but I mean, really what you would want to do is decant the wine, right? You don't need to decant it. So the Well, that's that's what the aerator is for. So the, the aerator, aerator the aerator makes it decant. like an hour to an hour oh, and a half okay. of decanting. That's great. So that's why you're tasting such a big difference. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, what if this sits for another hour? Will it change With again? This one? Yeah. You mean the un, the, the un No, the aerator. It'll continue to change as oxygen um interacts with wine mm -hmm. it evolves the wine so that's why a wine that's like five years old tastes very different than a wine that's 25 years old because even though it's sealed little microscopic parts of oxygen start to get into the bottle mm -hmm. so it changes the wine just slowly because it's sealed stay tuned for more episodes of wine by the bay tv we're doing lots of how to's we're going to do some gift stuff going forward into the holidays yep. um i do uh how to open wine i do how to use an also i do how to, i will be doing how to read a wine list at a restaurant yeah. and how to drink wine in a smooth kind of elegant way so that when you're out to dinner with someone important be it a date be it a boss be it you know in-laws whatever it is you can kind of act like you've been there before right without being pretentious of course because you know if you're pretentious that's fine but not everybody wants to be but everyone should enjoy the wine they're drinking so totally megan george wine by the bay tv thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time